Hey guys, welcome back to the Mogo YouTube channel. Today I've got a light from a company called Kingbright. Uh, they supply direct from China on Alibaba. Kingbright I've known of for many years. They've been a reliable supplier for the DIY market in the past, and now they've been making their own ranges of grow lights for some time now. Here we have their bigger model, one of the 800 watts, the P55. It's gonna be interesting to see what the quality is like, the performance is like, and compare that with the price and see if you really are getting that value for money uh, for ordering direct, cutting out the middleman and uh, going straight to the source. So let's take a closer look. It's this 800 watt fixture. It comes in a fairly compact uh, shape. It's three foot by three foot or 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters in size. It is eight bars. Um, as I said, 800 watts in total, so about 100 watts per bar. The driver is mounted on the back. In this case, it's a high quality Inventronics driver. You can also remount it, mount it remotely with cable extensions. Got your pretty standard dimming control box here on top of the driver. So you have onboard dimming control adjusting from zero up to 100%. And you can also connect daisy chain control and connect to external controllers. So it's a foldable bar fixture unfolds in the center with really solid beams at each end with lots of hanging points so you can get it right up close to the top of the grow area. Each of the LED bars then can be tilted and adjusted um, right around each way. This means you can either focus the light and get a much higher power intensity uh, underneath or in a end-to-end -end fixture placement, you can spread the bars out wide uh, or spread the light out wide and distribute the power over a wider area. You can select from three options from the Alibaba product page, which is linked below, by the way, in the description. This one is option three, got 3,200 LEDs in total, warm white and cool white Samsung LM301H Evos and Osram 660 and 730 nanometer reds. The 730 nanometer LEDs give that little peak over on the right hand side of the chart. So at 800 watts this fixture is perfectly suited for a 5 foot by 5 foot or 1.5 by 1.5 meter grow area. So I put it into the test area with silver mylar walls and hung it at first 45 centimeters or 18 inches over the test area taking 100 power measurements in a 10 by 10 grid with the Apogee ePower sensor. The average power at that hang height is 884 micromoles, uh, resulting in a system efficiency of 2.53 micromoles per watt, albeit there is um, quite high power intensity in the center. So use the second hang, recommended hang height by the manufacturer of two foot or 60 centimeters. And in that case, got an average power of 835 micromoles and a system efficiency of 2.39 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is a really good efficiency and a good spread across that area. We didn't adjust or tilt the LED bars for those tests, so that's just with them all dead flat. You can tilt the outward ones um, to get that spread more evenly towards the edge if you wish. Or as I said before, you can concentrate them more. Um, maybe you've got a higher hanging height or you're doing the, um, the fixtures in a row in a large layout over, um, over a growing table or whatever your setup is. So overall, it's really a nice solid light, really good performer. For this option three model, the price is $535. As always, be interested to hear what you think of this light and um, looking forward to looking at your comments. We'll get back to them as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed, take care. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, get lots of grow light reviews, interviews with experts, uh, grow light tests, tips, tricks, how to optimize your grow lighting. So yeah, hit the bell.